Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to our birth vlog. I am in labor for sure. Yesterday I was having contractions that were like 20 minutes apart. I kind of did that all night and then when I woke up they um, were 10 minutes apart and now they're like three to five minutes apart and definitely more intense. So I'm just laboring at home. I'm just kind of hanging out. Sorry about all the background noise. We have the AC on and the dishwasher but I'm doing really well this labor is already so different from my labor with Knox um, I had really bad back labor with Knox and my water broke first so I'm actually like really enjoying laboring at home I'm feeling really really good the contractions are definitely like pretty intense but I'm completely fine like I am enjoying this I'm doing so well I'm sipping on a coffee and I'm just kind of chilling I obviously got ready I did my hair and makeup we're just kind of like taking our time we're lucky because we live so close to the hospital so we can just like shoot across the bridge and be there so I can't even believe this is happening I'm so excited to meet baby girl it's so so weird my mom's here taking care of Knox and then hubby's coming with me since we're only allowed one guest in the hospital so he'll be with me and mom will be here with Knox. Um, my contractions started yesterday they were 20 minutes apart this morning they were down to 10 minutes apart they were down to five minutes apart for like hours today and then even for hours at a time they were down to like two minutes apart um, lasting a minute or more and they slowed again to 10 minutes apart and I'm just getting nervous that I'm gonna have failure to progress like I did with Knox like I went for I don't even know 15 plus hours of like active labor where I was having contractions that were lasting over a minute and were like a minute apart and I like was not progressing and I didn't I didn't know that with Knox until she checked me like nine hours like apart and I had gone from like a four and a half to a five and a half or something um so yeah my water hasn't broke so this time like it's not as much of like a sense of urgency to get the baby out but for me like I need to know if I'm progressing because anytime I walk my contractions 
contractions are like two, three minutes apart consistently, like the whole time I'm on my feet. But then if I lay down, they go back to being 10 minutes apart and I'm like, I just need to know where I'm at. I am so down to walk and let the contractions hit if I'm progressing, but if I'm not, then like, it's already been a lot of hours. I may just be a really slow labor or and the contractions are like they're bearable is that the right word yeah bearable but they're they're painful like they definitely feel like they're doing something um i obviously know what like real you know contractions feel like oh i don't know i just i think that i'm panicking and feeling like if i go in and find out i'm at a three which is pretty much what i was at my last appointment after i just have already been through of labor today then I just kind of need to make decisions based off that. How are you doing honey? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm still doing well I just like my mindset kind of just started to change and it's unfortunate but if I go in and they tell me I'm at like a six or something that's sweet like then I know they're doing something and I can continue doing what I'm doing and working towards that. of my plan necessarily but like it took a total turn not because of pain but just because of like length of time and stuff like it just turned I, I had already like changed my mind before I was even in like intense pain it's just so weird but I was at like seven and a half when um, like the epidural was like put in um, he just checked me and said I'm like almost at an eight right honey yeah so, so seven, seven to eight and I just had a contraction. It was the first one that I couldn't feel. So I'm like, but oh my gosh, when they were giving me the epidural, I got like wicked goofy and like in between contractions, the contractions were crazy. But in between, I was like joking. I just got like all like, I don't know. I just felt funny. I was making jokes and being silly. I think I was like nervous and <sighs> I like this epidural a lot better than my one with Knox because with Knox only worked on one side and then so I had to get it again and I was just so numb. This one like I I could get up and walk if I wanted to. I'm not I'm not allowed to, but I could walk like I can completely move my legs and all that. Honestly, like I was I started having thoughts about not being able to enjoy the birth and like I enjoyed pushing and like birthing Knox. It was just like such an incredible experience and the fear of not enjoying it made me like I was like, I want an epidural. And they also said like the anesthesiologist was going into surgery, so it was like now or not for a while, forever. So I was like, oh. It's the best I've felt in two days. <laughs> How are you doing, honey? I'm doing good. Just got my good. epidural too. And, oh uh, yeah. Feeling pretty good. You're so much more handsome when I'm not in pain, honey. 